and that his mother is the prime suspect. Our Nakaya Carrero is live outside the family's home this morning, and Nakaya, not the outcome anyone wanted to hear in this case. Frank, definitely not the outcome anybody was hoping for in this case, but uh, police say there are no charges filed against the mother who's been named the prime suspect in this case, and they are set to give us an update at some point today. So we will definitely bring that to you on air and online at WJCL.com. But right now we want to walk you through a timeline of what's happened since Quentin was reported missing early Wednesday morning. That report coming in from his mother, Leilani Simmon, now the prime suspect in the boy's disappearance and death. Chatham County police say the boy was last seen Wednesday the 5th around 6 in the morning. His mother reported him missing around 9. The extensive search began and lasted days. On the, ninth, on the night of the 5th, police used helicopters with heat detecting technology. On Friday the 7th, detectives brought the FBI in. All officers working 20 hour days searching outside the home, including a nearby pond. On Sunday the 9th, officers said they were re canvassing several specific areas and they pumped the family's backyard pool. That's also the day they set up a dedicated tip line for this case. On Tuesday the 11th, officers said they seized evidence that would help move the case forward. Yesterday, one week after he was reported missing. Investigators were at the boys home with a team of search dogs gathering and analyzing evidence. Frank, now we're just waiting on more information from police about this tragic case. For instance, like where is Quentin's body and what happened to him? And also, will there be charges against his mother, Leilani Simmons?